Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. This one I'm going to be showing you how to do a face cam or a picture in picture kind of effect which will look something like this. So my head will be the picture in picture or the face cam and then you could have gameplay on screen if you want it to be a gaming channel or whatever you want. Basically, you put a video inside another video. This is what this is what I'm showing you how to do. So let's jump onto the computer and I'll, I'll show you how. Right guys, we are on the computer here. If you hear bangs and stuff throughout the video, it's because it is bonfire night at the moment. I'm recording this, so just bear that in mind. But we'll get straight into this. I'm going to import the media here. Right now, so the two very important pieces of media you need to have are, first of all, of course, your gameplay, and second, of course, the video that you've recorded for Facecam at the same time. Preferably, you would have recorded both these clips at the same time, but for the purposes of this, I've just recorded some separate gameplay and me talking. I just want to show you the mechanics of how to actually do the Facecam feature. A lot of getting this to work properly is going to be how you record it in the actual setup you use. That's going to be a big important factor and also aligning up the videos so that your audio and your gameplay match up. Um, or at least your face cam and your gameplay match up is quite important. The easiest way I find to do this is record your voice on both your gameplay and on your face cam. You can then sync them up using the audio spikes and the tracks which I'll point out in a minute and then you can just cut out either the audio from the gameplay or from the face cam and you'll end up with well face cam video with gameplay so I'll just pulling the gameplay in here so I'm just gonna drag the gameplay on here this is the little piece of gameplay I'm using it's from a game called super hexagon and you can see we've got audio spikes here if I drag my other clip on here of my face cam and just put it on top you'll be able to see we've got the two different audio spikes so if you were to record your voice on both your gameplay using whatever screen recorder you use and if you record your voice on your camera of course you can then align the audio up and it'll match up pretty nicely now I'm just gonna cut my face cam clip here because I don't need this first bit I'm also gonna cut my gameplay clip to just here just a random point on it and I'm just gonna move them both back to the beginning now I'm gonna hit play because I want to just test how my audio levels are So you can hear here my gameplay audio is way too loud. So you can either turn this down by just dragging it here on the bar, which is in the middle. Or you can go to the beginning of the track and just turn it down here, which is what I'm going to do. Right, so now we've got it set up. To do the actual effect, you want to click on the video track which your face cam is on. You want to click more over here and click on track motion this is going to bring up this window and if I just minimize it a little bit here move it across you'll be able to see that when I affect this if I click the dot in the corner and drag it it'll scale that track and then I can do something like move it in the corner like so or move it in the bottom I'm gonna go bottom corner for this one we'll scale it down a little bit more and then we can see here we have got the face cam in the corner just like that now because as well this track motion feature includes keyframes we can actually do little animations with this I'm gonna right click on here restore box and then it's just gonna set it back to normal and I'm actually gonna want I'm actually gonna want it to slowly change into the view in the corner so I'm gonna click on this sync cursor button here this will just align both cursors up on my track here with the actual timeline track so to do the animation once you've synced up the cursor I'm gonna create a keyframe I'm gonna find where I want it So where I say this, about here I'm going to create a keyframe, then I'm going to move a tiny bit further ahead, I'm going to create one more keyframe, and then on this keyframe is where I'm going to do the picture in picture effect, or the face cam effect, and put it in the corner. So now you can actually see these keyframes on the track here, if we play it from just before that. And then you can see that effect happens quite nice. Now the animation is a bit too slow, so I'm just going to decrease the gap between these keyframes and make it a bit quicker and that's pretty much how you do that so you've learned how to do the face cam slight basic animation when it comes to the face cam itself and now the rest of the video is up to you how you want to cut it and style it is your choice but that is where i'm going to end this video guys so if you did like it then please subscribe to the channel please like the video if you want to see any more tutorials then recommend them down below and i'll see you next time bye